Welcome to Light Utilage. In this session, I will discuss how to find the charge of an atom in the periodic table. This is a periodic table. And so we look at the group number in the periodic table. These are the group numbers. First a group, second a group, third a group, fourth a group. And we know that the group numbers represents the number of valence electrons of elements. And so let's say this is a first a group and these elements are present in first a group. And since these elements are present in first a group, that's why they show one valence electron. For example, hydrogen has one valence electron, lithium has one valence electron, sodium has one valence electron. Valence electrons are the electrons which are either lost or gained by an atom to form positive or negative ion. When an atom loses an electron, it forms positive ion or when an atom gains electrons, it forms negative ion. And these elements present in first group have a tendency to lose one electron to complete their octet. That's why they show positive charge. They have plus one charge. Elements present in second group have two valence electrons and so they have tendency to lose two electrons. That's why they show plus two charge. The elements present in third group have three valence electrons and so they also have tendency to lose three electrons. That's why their charge is plus three. Elements present in fourth group have a tendency have four valence electrons and they also have a tendency to lose electrons to complete their octet and so they lose electrons equal to their valence electrons. That's why they show plus four charge. Now we look at the next group that is fifth group. And these elements are present in fifth group, that's why they have high valence electrons and you can see that 5 is much more nearer to 8. It means that if they, they get 3 more electrons they can complete their octet and since these elements have a tendency to gain electrons to complete their octet, they show negative charge. They need 3 more electrons and they, since they are gaining electrons that's why they show negative 3 charge. Nitrogen has minus 3 charge, phosphorus has minus 3 charge. And in a similar way, the elements present in the sixth group have six valence electrons and they need two more electrons, two more electrons to complete their octet. That's why they show minus two charge. And finally, seventh group elements have seven valence electrons and they need only one more electron to complete their octet. That's why they show minus one charge. Here you can see that the elements from first day to fourth group so positive charge and from fifth to seventh group so negative charge